Aemon was born into House Targaryen. He was the second son of King Maka I and Lady Diana Dane. Originally known as Prince Aemon Targaryen, he was not his father's eldest son, so he eventually joined the Order of Maesters. Aemon gave up all rights to inheritance when he took his vows, which also included relinquishing his surname, Targaryen. Aemon's older brother, Arian, later died, however. Despite being a sworn maester, there were those who felt that the crown should pass to Aemon. Aemon refused the throne and it passed to his younger brother, who became King Aegon V. Aegon later became known as Aegon the Unlikely, due to the unlikely chain of events causing a third-born prince to become king. Aemon then joined the Night's Watch to further remove himself from the political intrigues of the royal court and from those who wished to set him up as a rival against his brother. Many years later, Aegon V died in the tragedy at Summer Hall and the crown passed to his son, Aemon's nephew Ares II, who later became known as the Mad King. Ares's growing insanity ultimately led to the outbreak of Robert's Rebellion, which saw House Targaryen deposed and practically exterminated. Upon hearing about the brutal deaths of his family in King's Landing during the rebellion, Aemon bore great sadness which never left him. Around 100 years old, Aemon is thought to be one of the oldest living men in Westeros, though he has retained all of his wits and his mind is still very sharp. He has served as the maester at Castle Black for many decades. Aemon has long since gone blind due to old age. It is not clear when he went blind, he was not born blind, though he has stated that he was already old and blind during Robert's rebellion. As a man of learning, he laments not being able to read any more, even though Castle Black ironically has an ancient and well-stocked library consisting of thousands of books. Because one of a maester's basic duties is to handle messages sent to and from a castle by messenger ravens, Aemon has to rely on the assistance of others to physically read the letters for him.